a.m. Monday through Thursday, and that means it's time for Croups. That's me, Donald Croups, and we have another amazing talk show for you today. How are you doing, studio audience? Croups! 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 Thank you. Shush now, because this is serious. Grandmothers. The light of our lives, the matriarchs of families, but sometimes they go too far. Today's show is one of horror and sadness. My alcoholic grandmother stole my husband and trapped him on her pig farm. Now our first guest is the afflicted, Meredith Budzingers. Meredith, come on out here, Meredith. Tell us your sad story. Meredith, everybody. <laughs> Meredith, welcome to Cruz. Cruz, 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 we're your groupies from Detroit. <laughs> oh, 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 groupies. <laughs> groupies, I'll get to you later, you fun bunch of gang. Uh -huh. Meredith. Yes. Meredith, tell us what happened to you. And tell us what happened to your husband. My God, I'll get those. It was just, it was, it was just so tragic. Uh, thank you. We were visiting mm -hmm. my alcoholic grandmother to offer her support on her pig farm. It's, it's a lot of work for somebody who's not an alcoholic. I'm so sure it is. And God bless the farmers of America. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then what happened? Well, my husband, being, you know, so kind and so good, he offered to help her down in the basement where uh, a fuse had blown, and she locked the door and kicked me off her farm. He's trapped there now, Croops. He's trapped there. He's trapped now. Croops, 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 my goodness. Well, Meredith, we're going to get to the root of this problem. Thank you. Because we've tracked down your grandmother and have flown her out here against her will because justice must be served. Let's bring out the matriarch, sweet or not so sweet, Judith Fletcher's. Judith, come on out here. <laughs> Now you just sit there in silence. That's your punishment, Judith. You just sit there and drink whatever you've got. I'm sure it's only water. Studio audience, before we talk to Judith, do you have any, do you have any questions for Meredith, the afflicted? Any questions for Meredith out there? Studio audience. Yes. So I don't have a question, but I just want you to know, Meredith, that my prayers are with you every day now, girl. Thank you. Aww. You have you are have thoughts and prayers. Thank Judith, why don't you take this opportunity to explain yourself? Because it sounds like you kidnapped and trapped Meredith's sweet husband in your weird dark cellar. Let me tell you what. I didn't trap no one. He wanted to stay. <gasps> My goodness, what a twisted a narrative. Because that man's into Granny, and Granny's into that man. Oh, My goodness. This is a daytime Whoa. network television show. You will keep your descriptions limited. Give us a little, give us a little bit of what happened down there. Well, I went down to the basement, and he was a-changing my fuse, mm -hmm. and then it sent a spark through me. <gasps> oh, Judith! Oh. And then I knew right there he was the one. He was better than my dead husband, Greg, who I pushed down the stairs. Well, oh. Oh, well, we got that on tape. We'll deal with that later, but today's subject is kidnapped husbands, not murdered grandparents. Uh, any questions for uh, Judith from our studio audience? Yes. Yeah, Judith. Mm -hmm. My name's R Rick. We're from Detroit. And we treat pigs a little differently than you probably do on your crazy murder pig farm. I hope you choke on that bear and that alcohol that you're drinking. No, no. <laughs> Croops, 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 Croops. We don't wish any violence on any of our guests, but... Oh, we don't? No, I mean, in this particular case, we did. <laughs> oh, security, security, restrain Judith. Uh, well, we're going to get to the bottom of this once for all. We're going to wheel out our final guest. That's right, I said wheel out, because he happens to still be trapped in a metal cage. We can't seem to get the lock broken on it, because we're a basic cable show, and we can't afford a locksmith. So let's wheel out, inside a metal cage, Don Bazingers, husband of Meredith. Don! Oh, Don, Don, trapped in a metal cage. That sweet boy. Don! Tell me it's not true. Oh. Don, tell us your side of the story. We need truth. We're getting conflicting reports between Meredith and Judith. You know, uh, groups, I've, I've really got to say, I 
love Judith. <laughs> oh my, the worst is confirmed. Cruz, 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 Cruz. Honestly, I didn't know how how free I could be inside this cage. Mary. Are you in that cage of your own volition? Oh yeah, I can walk out whenever I want. God, oh, darn it. You said you got this out of your system while we were in Puerto Rico. Judith, Judith. She's Judith, right there. I want you to know, I only love you for your grandmother. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Yes, we have questions for our for Get your arm back in that cage. Charity, my name is Charity. I'm from Detroit. Charity? I'm Charity from Detroit, and we're we're a croupie, okay? And as any croupie knows, croupies. the Book of Croups, chapter seven, verse three through nine. Verse Book three through nine. Yeah. Thou shalt not keep love in a cage. And I just want you to ponder that. Yeah. Mm, Thank you. Croups. Well, I'll have you know, she comes in the cage with me. Oh! oh. oh. This has taken a foul oh. turn. Judith and Don, I'll give you one last chance to explain to the greater metro area of Detroit, <laughs> where sure. we brought broadcast, and our studio audience, your sick and twisted version of love, and then I'll lay down my final group's thoughts. It's quite simple. She just has so much knowledge. She teaches me everything and all those wrinkles. Judith, what are you getting out of this relationship? Well... I'm getting a lot more done, if you know what I mean. I do not. <laughs> and I don't have to go to the liquor store myself anymore. And that saves me a lot in gas. I have a partner to go to the liquor store. Yeah. Well, now it's time for my final cruise thoughts. Cruise. How cruise? You know, in the 17 seasons where we've been on the air, we've explored a lot of different facets of love and human relationships. Oh. Oh. This may be the most beautiful. I know my heart has been turned this day from the last two sentences our guests have said. And Meredith, I'm sorry, but your husband is now your ex-husband. We filed for divorce papers, oh. and now you are free to marry Judith oh. Pleasures. Can you do it right here? As a justice of the peace, yes, I can. Oh. Will you put my robe on, uh, Jarity? Jarity, will I, you be my best man? Oh, Jarity, get up here, be the best man. Go, Jarity, go! Meredith, can you please? He's on cruise. No, I guess you shouldn't even be here anymore. Oh, Meredith, you could be the maid of honor or something. Just stand there. Just stand there behind me. Um, by the power vested in me by the state of Detroit and by uh, WKLXCA, our network affiliates, spreading us across the nation, I now pronounce you a uh, drunk grandmother and man in cage. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Every day is a new adventure on Cruise. We'll see you tomorrow, unless it's Thursday. Bye!